Welcome back everybody here on Just a Zack. What's my continued mission to show you an interesting video game almost every single day this time. We're gonna have a look at Fellowship, an action roguelike bullet heaven slash survivor like game that is going to come out in November 2023. Full transparency here, we are going to have a look at the pre-release version. So I did acquire a free game key for this, so please keep that in mind. And yeah, I chose this because it looked actually very interesting, very beautiful art style. We are here to assemble a group of different characters, each with their own abilities. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Because the survivor-like genre at this point with like vampire survivors, of course, but also like Holo Cure now even available on platforms like Steam. This is a tough genre to try to go into right now because the quality bar with just these two aforementioned games is incredibly high and Holy Cure is even free and so on. So Fellowship tries to go with like its own unique art style, that's a plus. It tries to go with uh, farming yourself a party and that is definitely a mechanic I haven't seen too much explored as well. So that's interesting and I'm very much intrigued to giving this a try. So we have classes, inventory, workshop and the start button before we hit any of this. Let's have a quick look at the Senex menu. We have a bunch of languages, so that's nice to see. We have controls, which also seem to be rebindable, uh, rebindable, which is very good to see. I love this. Also, apparently controller, which I don't have a controller plugged in right now, so uh, I'm actually surprised to see this, or I was, because on the Steam page, it doesn't even say that it has controller support, which, I mean, apparently it does. Put it in yet. That is actually a thing that is very important for your marketing of your game. Steam officially said that controller support is something they consider for their algorithm. Which is one of the few things that actually does matter there, because a lot of people think like, oh, that is important for the Steam algorithm if you want to have your game be shown to more people and so on. Controller support is one of the very, very few things that actually does matter there. So if you have it, yeah, put it in there. That's important for your game. Um, also graphics, uh, resolution, display mode, FPS limit, V-Sync, pretty nice. Decent, standard, cool to see. Three sliders for the volume. I found, you might even hear this, I found the SFX volume surprisingly loud in comparison, if it now says it's applied, super loud, um, in comparison to the music, which is surprisingly quiet, but maybe that's just my um, imagination. I'm gonna turn this down even more, maybe here. But yeah, what can we go with the classes later on? Okay, we have an archer. This also seems very mobile-like, which doesn't necessarily need to be a bad thing, but just want to throw that out there that I get this feeling there. Archer, range class that wields a bow to shoot arrows with great accuracy and speed. They, uh, they excel at dealing critical hits and attacking from a distance. Three skills, multi-shot, high moral, make it rain. So we have skills as well. Cool, type range, HP medium, attack power medium, attack speed high. The Holy Knight which we can jam in. We also have a priest. I mean, look at this guy. That's so cool. Holy Knight. I do like that they have these little animations here. And the warrior. Yeah, I'm a Viking. Holy Knight, for example. Manage. Ooh, magical slots can be put in later on. Equipment item. Weapon, torso, waist, feet, hands, and neck. Cool. Also, yeah, also melee unit, defensive melee class, cool. So we can optimize our characters with a bunch of equipment, apparently. So a lot of stat grinding here. We have two different currency, which again, gold, fine. This already kind of makes me a little bit worried that this might be on mobile, like a free-to-play game, and you have to buy the currency to actually make any real progress. Um, well, maybe let's just maybe it's just a bad feeling I'm having here. Hopefully I'm not right. Again, we're playing this before the official release. I'm actually gonna double switch towards the Steam page if it says anything from being a free-to-play game. Um, but I don't think so. No, it doesn't say so. So that's nice to say. Okay, well, sorry. Uh, just wanted to double check. Also inventory where we get all the items, uh, which are all the stat things and some consumables later on as well. Okay, look at this. We can even sort. So there's gotta be a lot of loot. Uh, looting there, which is usually a cool thing, so that's nice. Workshop as well, where we can merge weapons, armor, and gems as well. Okay, so a bunch of stuff to get you uh, all the important stat upgrades, the percentages to deal more damage, I suppose. Start. And we have a world map. Okay, yeah, again, seems very, very mobile-like, but considering the amount of options with controller support, uh, also, I'm still decent quality. There we go. I think I click this. We are jumping in. What is gonna happen now? Oh, look at this. this is cool. Look at this bomb right here. Awesome. 
Okay, so we can now choose of our uh, some uh, one of our unlocked classes. I usually like Holy Knights, so let's go. A defensive melee class that wields a shield to block enemy attacks and smite enemies with righteous power. They are great at mitigating damage and providing support to their allies. Well, let's go. The battle's heating up, and so am I. Time to bring the pain. Oh, we are... Is this my movement speed? I'm so slow. Okay, we have automatic attack. We don't have any ability, apparently. What if I go into options menu, sprint, swap... Oh, we have sprint and swap leader with space. Change formation. Ooh, interesting. Red party. Options menu. I want to go to controls. Do I have anything? Sprint is very important. Synergies UI on F. Okay, F. We don't have any unlocked synergies. Okay, sprint is very important. Because we are so slow. I mean, like, hallelujah, are we slow. Can I pick up these things? No. Okay, our attack is a little bit lackluster. What are we even attacking with? Just like a wave. Bunch of gems, which is XP, of course. Okay, we don't have any skills yet, it seems. Gimme, okay, gimme, party perk. Increase movement speed by 20%. Thorns, reflects a portion of the damage taken back to, all, uh, to attackers and a new character, the priest. But frankly, we are so slow, I want the movement speed, because this feels honestly terrible. Wow. Also, there seems to be a character over there. Let's try to get him. Okay, sprint. It's maybe meant we have like three charges. Please let me out of here. Around somewhere. Okay. This is... You can't read that in time. Please let me out of there. There should be a key around there somewhere. So, as you can see, like this dialogue box is still completely glitched out. <laughs> uh, there's a space meeting. Look at this and repeat <laughs> out of the box. Okay, that's a bit silly. But, okay, that's nothing too groundbreaking. Thorns reflects a portion of damage tank back to all attackers. Take cover, grants increased health and armor to you and your allies. Cool, great shield, holy knight skill. Summons a holy shield around you that deflects enemy projectiles. Uh, let's go with thorns for now, because I'm taking a surprising amount of damage. Okay, uh, let's get the archer, yes. Oh, I select, oh, there's archer, eight me in my combat. So we can't ch change formations somehow. Left click, right click, doesn't do anything. Rotate party at least doesn't do anything. Spread shrink formation. Doesn't do anything right now as well. Change formation tap doesn't do anything. Swap leader. And now we can play the archer. Okay, that's cool. High moral for every successful kill. Increases the attack speed. This skill can stack. Increase movement speed by 20%, uh, 6%. Yeah. All the movement speed. We are the slowest character in history here right now. Okay, we can aim. The attack sounds... I mean, I did turn them down. But they are nothing to write home about right now. Let's go here. Maybe this is a bit better when we hit enemies. But again, the main menu and the in-game sounds don't seem to correlate that much then right now. Let's go apply again. Okay, we have a few more. Okay, we have a few attack sounds now. Actually, let's pick up the XP. We might need this. Oh, also, how did I went past the multi shot? Ooh, increase the number of projectiles in a single attack. But let's actually get more characters. Might be more important. There's another key. Yeah, let's get the keys. We need the free pa uh, party members, right? Let's go. Okay, there's the key. How did I actually walk past this? Okay, get the key. Get this character, the thief or whatever. We also have the priest in our party now. Nice. Don't know why the UI now appears. I didn't press anything. But I guess that means now we can go with the formation here, right? We can't click this. Would be nice with the mouse. Doesn't work. Right, left click. Doesn't do anything. You're still completely <laughs> bugged out here with your dialogue. Great. Come on. Did you join my party now? Would be a key. Yeah, but I, I freaked you, dude. Join me now. Please let me out of here. I let you out of there. Are you kidding me? Is he running away? Godspeed. Blesses your allies with a terminal boost and attack speed. Take cover. Increase pick up. Yeah, let's go with this. Do I need to manually uh, activate these things? Oh, tap. I changed this. Uh, synergy. So space. I guess these uh, our abilities just appear randomly, right? All this dialogue. It's so hard to read right now. Actually, oh, there's so many enemies. Where's my HP? Oh, that is. My, is that my HP? I thought that in the bottom, top left was my HP. We're almost done. Oh, priest, you need a healing ability, dude. Okay, reflect a portion of the damage there. Increase movement. Best is the with a time we boost and attack speed. Yeah, let's go with that. Don't even know who do I have select right now. Guess this is the priest. This is the archer, right? Did you heal? I hope you did, like a buff. Okay, we really need more XP. So this other guy just ran away. Did we even gain anything from that? I mean, there's nothing on the mini map. And the enemies kind of. Ah, I need to check. Sorry, I need to check if there's actually anything there. Even though I think there wasn't. Oh, come on, guys. 
This was the prison. Yeah, we freed this guy. No idea what happened. Pick up raises. Increases your allies, restoring the health. Yes, priest. Oh, we need that. I thought that was my healing ability. Yeah, that was my HP. No, it's not. Okay, guys, we also need some stronger abilities here. So much potential XP here. Gimme, gimme. Blesses your allies, restoring the health. Take cover. Yeah, skill upgrades level 2. We don't have any stats for that, unfortunately, right? But he's gonna cast that. Can we see when they cast? Yeah, this is a super small here. But there we can see the cooldown of our character's abilities. Which currently we also only have the priest abilities. Okay, let's try to get over to the key over there. Even though I really should try to focus on defeating more enemies. We need XP so badly. We're not doing fine. Yeah, okay, let's fi fight. The key doesn't help us right now anyway. Okay, guys, come on, Archer. Where are you aiming at, Mr. Formation? Okay, everyone aim to where I am aiming. This is... Okay, okay, formations actually matter. That's cool. So now you guys actually aim where I am aiming with this formation. Then we have a formation, like, which just aims all around. Which is cool if we're surrounded. Or this, which has this, like, spear formation or something. I don't know. It's oh, we lost someone! Well, that's terrible. Um... That was our priest as well. Oh, are you kidding me? We're so screwed. Okay, thorns. Warrior! Uh, yeah, we need a new character. Please join me. Uh, I'm uh, So that's the plan. I'm gonna pick up the key, and then we go to whatever that is at the north. Hopefully that's like a revive for a priest. Oh, man. Oh, no. How am I supposed to get out of here? Uh, this formation. Come on, guys. This is terrible. Hit them! <gasps> Okay, I don't want to be... Uh, okay, we gotta switch our character. Oh, and the boss! Well, that's terrible. Don't know if I need the key for the revive, though. We need XP. Oh, bread! Yeah, I'll take bread as well. Some healing. Okay, was the... When I picked up health, was it just a ding sound? Really? <laughs> oh, man, make it rain. Uh, that flex, flex a potion, make it rain. Let's go. First ability for our archer. We need to get past this. Oh, this is terrible. There was an uh, overlapping sound effect there. Oh, guys, don't get stuck there. Cool that that is a mechanic. Oh, man. We're so screwed. We're so screwed. Come on, come on, come on, please. And we lost that character as well. Great. Okay, where's that damn key? And you guys are only melee. Oh, now I don't even have a formation. You need three people to have a formation. Oh, great. Okay. This is... This is hard. Or maybe I'm just that terrible, but... Yeah, you need the stat grinds, apparently. Uh, did I get a single item yet? No. I want to get to that. Hopefully it's a revive or some cool items or something. XP, XP, XP. Is this a thing? I don't even know. No, it's not. Looks like a pickup, but it isn't. Dude, dude, I kind of like the uh, background music, by the way. A little bit adventurous. The sound effects are very basic, I have to admit. The enemy design, very beautiful, though. I mean, look at these rats. They look so goofy. The goblins are cool, too. Very detailed as well. I would like to defeat my enemies, because we're getting further and further behind off, like, the XP curve. But, I mean, we only have two characters right now, anyway. Oh, come on. Where is that freaking... How much more do I need to travel? Do we have a map? Don't even know. Okay. Oh man, our radius is also not good at all. Pick up radius, I mean. Oh, XP! But I can't. Is there any consumable? I would love to have, like, a magnet here. Can I pick up these mushrooms? They all look like consumables, but they aren't. Oh, man. Oh, we don't even one-shot enemies anymore. That's beautiful. Not sure if we ever dead to, uh, did to be precise. <laughs> okay, the Holy Knight has one unlocked ability, but that... No, it does have a cooldown. Is that the thorn ability? Might be. Come on. Oh god, we're so screwed! Thorns, 100 swords, some a magical portal from the past, raining swords in an area. Sure, let's go. Cooldown ability. There it is. Cool, cool. Seems to hit random enemies. Come on, this needs to be a breakable pickup item, right? Come on, hit it. It is, cool. I think I gained some HP. Also very stock of... <laughs> Uh, the most stuck sound effect there again, where we broke that vase. But we need to hope that we get, like, a magnet there. We need XP so badly. Come on. I reach you! Do you do anything? Well, I reached the statue! Do I have an interact button? 
I would have guessed that this is, you know, move up, sprint, swap leader, change formation, synergies, change spread, shrink, rotate, party ride. No. Well, that's just terrible. I thought that was the statue where we can revive someone. Complete of this. Oh, two characters, guys. And we haven't leveled up like in all the time. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Ah! We're screwed. Party Piak. A great shield. This is a great sword. We gotta just go through the enemies. Come on. Okay, what does the statue do? Do I need to be... Does it charge up? No, it's just there. It was on my minimap. Look at the tiny amount of damage we do to this boss, which is nothing. This is terrible. Uh, sure, swap the lead. I'm not sure if it matters, honestly. Okay, let's go, let's go. Never found a single item now either. I mean, how am I supposed to do this? Like, we deal no damage. None at all. I mean, I lost, like, half of my party. Uh, 23%. Seems like skills have different abilities. Shield, holy error. I mean, that's fine. Movement speed, though. Oh, that's a lot. But we need damage. Oh, yeah, maybe projectors would have been nice. Come on. Oh, man. All right, gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, yes. Yeah, great XP. Gimme. One hurt sword again. Yeah, that's kind of our best ability right now. The warrior is doing a pretty good amount of damage. Like that. What does the statue do? It does nothing. Oh, guys, come on. Please don't die. Oh, all the melee characters, come on. Give me XP. There we go. Party perk. More movement speed. Is that all? Movement speed or just... Also, is this again 30% or is this just on that 23 I picked up earlier? Okay, 100. Oh! oh Why well, couldn't I move there for a second? Give me the XP. Use the sprint. Enemies can kind of get stuck there. Oh, we lost the warrior. Well, it's over. Come on, we don't even need to try that. Okay, there we go. Wow. That boss had like all the HP, but what a bullet sponge. Holy Knight defeated Archer, defeated Priest, be if, uh, defeated and Warrior. We made it to level 17. We have the overall stats. Equipment collected? None. Boost collected? None. Magical stones collected? None. So we collected nothing. Back to the menu. Wow. Nothing at all. We Oh, that's what we did. We unlocked the lands, I think. When we feed this one guy there. Okay, nothing too much happened on the map. We had two keys. We had this one guy. We now have five of these magic stones, which I guess later on we can unlock. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Again, this is just the first map. Seems to be that there's gonna be a lot of maps later on in the full game, which is nice. Again, look at this. Silly animation. Beautiful. Okay, ma immediately combatant who utilizes long lance to poke and impale enemies from a safe distance. Okay, let's try the lancer. I was getting bored back there. Can't wait to unleash some carnage up here. Okay, also this guy is definitely faster than the Holy Knight. I think at least. Maybe? Hard to tell. But it would be weird if characters would have different movement speed here. Do we actually see any like... No, we don't have any basic stats that we see or so. Alright, let's try to go a little bit further. See you guys in a second. What do we have here? Pierce, extensor lands, attack distance, and yeah, definitely. All right, we made it back to the boss after a couple of runs. I am doing better and lost my <laughs> newest character immediately. Great. Uh, this is still apparently the resurrect uh, resurrection statue, but I mean, the way over there takes a bazillion years. I actually like that we can work with all these bones on the ground. And you, so far, I still don't know how to activate that, so. That's a th question. Godspeed blesses you with a temporary boost in attack speed. Launches your throw is so strong. But we're still doing like almost no damage. Even though I'm so much better off than last time. We're level 23. Yes, I lost just my archer. But he was also my newest character. We're actually dealing a little bit of damage there. The health bar actually moves, moves for once. But also enemies are so fast. One of the biggest problems with the game i found so far is... Given your size and the enemy's movement speed, it's often super hard to actually get to where the XP is. They also spawn so quickly. So you have a bunch of XP, like here, that you, which is very hard to pick up. Oh, wow. How did that happen now? Lost my other character. Also, the hitboxes sometimes are just that little bit wonky. I like that these zombies charge at you, but that's the only real different enemy behavior so far. Well, I still have my two original characters. Need the XP. 
the priest has the hillbilly. Oh no, it's over! No, oh, look at that! I think I was out there, but apparently not. Okay, the main mission right now is try to get up there, get the equipment. Because this is what the game is about, I noticed. Uh, whatever, Holy Knight, pick this up. What happens if you die while the other character still runs at us? Okay, then we take over with this one. That's fair, but we lost. Uh, with all our entire team, th this unlevel character, it's over. So this is what the game is mostly about. We want to collect as much stuff as possible in a run, especially equipment. And equipment, as you can see, is super powerful. If we go to inventory, we have this lens, which I picked up in one of my earlier runs, which increases the Lancers. Attack speed by 0 0.02 seconds. Unimaginable, right? That's just that is just the most minicule upgrade ever, but it's something, I suppose. As you can say, later on, higher upgrade versions probably have more upgrades as well. We have the stone, which if I have over, it doesn't even happen anything. But that's one of these merchant things. And we have the armor, which is attack power 4. Which, if is this equipped by only a single character? It seems like this can be equipped by basically everyone. Frankly, the warrior was pretty good. Then we go over here, say there, attack power 12, equip. There we go. For example, the priest always did 20 damage. Is that his attack power? Yeah, it is. Oh, wait, what does this mean? Level 1? Oh, this is where we need gold. We can upgrade our different abilities with the gold. The warrior, for example, if you go manage, we could go swings, increase the number of slashes you perform in a single attack. One extra swing, which is huge. And this is also the only way where we can actually see a little bit of the stats, like swing 0.5. Because, unfortunately, we can't look at these stats in the main menu, which would be nice. For example, Divine Blessing, very important. Healing. Targets 1, healing 10%, cooldown 20%. Cooldown is minus 2 seconds, uh, which is a decent upgrade, 10% more often. And heal is important, because you get hit a lot, as you guys saw. But maybe the warrior is actually a way to go. More swings from 0 0.5 to plus 1, so 1.5? No, just to plus 1. So it also lies a little bit, the game here to you. Because it says swings plus 1, so... I mean, that's the current value then. I expect a plus 1, it's because it's a plus to 0 0.5 plus 1 equals 1.5. But I guess once you know it once, it's fine. And this is what fellowship is about, ladies and gentlemen. You will not... I'm pretty sure you will not be able to conquer this game in a single run, no matter your skill, because your stats when you start are just so abysmal. You want to get more inventory items, you want to unlock more classes, you want to upgrade your stats, and you want to upgrade all the stats with superpowers like increased attack speed for a single character by 0.02 seconds. And later on, so this is a game, I actually like the art style, I still feel like the sound effects need to be improved, I feel like the hitboxes need to be improved a bit, um, the enemies are surprisingly fast. Giving, making it super hard for you to actually pick up all the, um, well, pickups. It's very hard to see what is a consumable and what is just background stuff. The vases that have some pickups, uh, consumables like apples or so, are also surprisingly hard to see. I would like to see that improved to st so that those things would stand out more on the ground. So we have one gem. We could merge them apparently, but of course we only have a single one right now. So that's one upgrade way different uh, armor of weapons and i did play like four rounds right now i think three or four and i only found these three and you can see in my latest run with i at least managed to found these two items so it seems to be the chance to even get an item uh very small at least here on the first map i would guess later on you get more and with upgrades and so on you can unlock more stuff later on but this really this is a survival bullet heaven like that is definitely stat grind which doesn't necessarily need to be a bad thing again i played like four rounds which i was kind of intrigued i was hooked in i have to admit but I feel like you should be aware of this. And given the UI and so on, you can play this, of course. I played this with mouse and keyboard right now. You can play this with a controller, even though the game states it doesn't have uh, controller support, which I find funny. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is also optimized for mobile. And I see this mostly as a mobile game where you just, you know, play this while you watch Netflix or something like that. And then you just concentrate, try to get some stats, get, cr try to get this little bit of a dopamine impact, you know, that, hey, I got more stuff that I can invest so my next one is just that tiny bit better. And I see that being addicting and fun in a good way or in a you know, positive way. 
But yeah, you have to be aware of this. This doesn't really innovate too much on the survival like formula. This is a static grind. It seems to offer a lot for that. A bunch of characters here, a bunch of items. That seems to be the meal, uh, main appeal. Having a bazillion items, having the workshop, having different maps later on. I mean, this is the first one. What's there like? Oh, there's even a little glow if we actually hover over this, which is surprising hard to see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maps, maybe? Hard to tell, just judging from this side, but maybe it's just a few uh, few less, hard to say. I mean, just judging from colors, actually, it's going to be one, because we have this, two, maybe a swamp, three, four, five, at least five maps, I would guess. But yeah, that's Fellowship, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope I was able to showcase what this game is going to be about. Please tell me what you think of the game. Please tell me what you think of my presentation and showcase the as feedback is always greatly appreciated. And tell me what you think. Is this interesting to you? Is this intriguing, especially with the current um, high-impact games, like as I mentioned before, like, of course, Vampire Survivor, of course, Potato, of course, um, Holocure and games like this. Can this stand out? It has some... Uh, it has appeal, I agree, but... Yeah, I, I wonder if this is enough right now, but I also don't want to sound too negative. Please tell me what you think. Consider sharing the video. Make absolutely sure to stay awesome. And truly, thank you for watching.